Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back. We're going to be going into another match. SS Rai versus CS. I can't tell you how pumped I am to see this match because these are two of my absolute favorite characters in this game right now. Ooh. Yeah, so I know a fair amount about both. Um, okay, so straight into it. Spark and zero. Up throw is really easily comboable into back uh, back air. Um, you usually, you might see that at higher percentages. It depends on how good the opponent can react. Good, but that's the best thing you will see is that Ike will love that Nair. He will use it and abuse it. It's kind of like Mars Affair because it comes from above and goes below, but it's so, it's so quick and you can get so much out of it. Spark is doing a great job doing the check chase though with that down throw. I honestly would prefer him to do forward throw and see, since he already had positioning. And, and you know, these are both of your mains. This is like seeing parts of your soul duke it out. Tell me a little bit of what we can expect from this matchup. Where does each character excel at and what are we really looking for? Yeah, in sure. So each one has a unique dash, dash kind of way to work around in neutral. Um, so Ike has this quick draw, which is really comes out super fast, is chargeable, has an attack, and has the ability to jump cancel. Great pair, finish him off the top. But um, you you can use that almost across the stage. You will use that in your combos after you set up from back throws or down throws, as long as you read the tech chase. It's also great for the tech chase game in general. If you put someone in a hard knockdown, you guess left, right, and then you can follow them up and come up with your jump canceled options. That include jump canceled throw, jump canceled aerials, uh, wave dash back if you want to get better positioning. Um, Lucar, on the other hand, has that down B, which is great, and is actually notorious right now because if you cancel it properly, you get, I believe, 11 frames of invincibility on the next action that you're putting out there, if you do it perfectly. Um, so you can really mess up, guys. And I like what I've been seeing from the kill options of consistency yeah. from Rai. It looks like an up throw into neutral air, uh, and I think that works because of Ike's fall speed. Uh, definitely part of it. So, oh, and he didn't DI it properly. He didn't tech, actually. That's the big problem, is that if you forward throw, the proper way to DI it is down and towards, I believe. So that, because Ike generally has to go further out and wants to, you to go further out so he can fair you and send you off pretty easily. Oh, like that. What am I saying? What? Not quite off yet. Just kidding. He's done. Yeah. He's done. Once you get them to the to the triple digits, there's not much that Ike can do that doesn't kill them. I mean, it's true. Ike is so insanely strong. Or at least set up for an incredible position. Good job avoiding the grab. Rise doing a great job of just charging his assets. I kind of wish he had held Aura there instead of using it there. And yeah, you know, there we go. It, it, it speaks to be said that uh, where Lucario kind of struggles from time to time is really closing out those shocks. But Rise so far seems like he has no trouble. Up throw. Oh, going for the up air that time instead. Doesn't quite find it. Spark, maybe with an opportunity. Nice set of nares. He needs fair. forward air. No, he's not going to get it. Oh, that it's counter? counter. Yeah, it's actually a mix between Marth and Roy's uh, counter. So it has a fixed base damage, as well as on top, it has a modifier. It's really good. Really, really good. Interesting. Oh, wow. That's one of the harder uh, recoveries to guard against. He, as soon as I think it's the third cartwheel, uh, oh yeah, that's what you can expect here. Spark. He will He will chase. He does, He's not afraid. Because, because he has the side B. But ab above the third arc? Yeah, above the... Above, with the uh, up B, after he does the third rotation, then he's vulnerable, so you can punish from there. Because he's not invincible anymore. Okay, so Spark, he had a, a pretty large deficit starting this off, but look at this, with this set of aerials, making only about a 20% difference. Yeah, you're right. Uh, at this point, look for Lucario to go for down tilt, um, into back air, or throw, and can combine. Also, the command grab's available. Spark is just gonna continue to do fares and nares, and just hope for the best. If he can get a grab, forward throw, Ooh. fair, that's gonna be not enough. He didn't capture it with a full, uh, the best spot of it for the sweet spot. Wait, he's gonna come back. He might go for the platform above. Wow, he has the set of bears. It caught him off guard. Yeah, that's and the best thing to do. It's that disjoint, right? Yeah, that exactly. Disjoint hitbox. That's what's so important is, with Ike is that you have to consider the character is like a mix between like Ganon and Falco. Or excuse me, Ganon, Falcon, and Mark. It's like a weird hybrid between them because you have all this power, like killing power. His forward tilts are just ridiculous alone. Tons of knockback off him. Tons of them. Um, but that's the difference between them, is that Ike is solid, strong hits off of good reads, versus Lucario, which is, I get an opportunity, and I combo you to bits. Well, let's see if we can see some of that great combo game as we go right back to Smashville for game number two. Are we see a nice amount of aura for Rai. And what can he do with that aura, Neptune? Mm -hmm. He can do a couple of different things. Um, so whenever he goes into aura, he can do things like aura canceling, which is what you see with guys like, um, uh, God, what's his name? 
the Punch Kids? IPK, yeah. IPK your favorite, the origin. You, like one of your favorite Smashers. Dude, I forgot his name. The veggie juice has been getting into my dome. Yeah, so, that's true, man. Uh, so what he'll be doing is he'll use Aura as ways to kind of negate and combo, uh, create combo out of it. That's the most practical application. The other thing you can do is use that Aura to cancel into the down B and get the invincibility. Like that, exactly like that. But now he's lost an ability to air dodge after he does, does up B. So that's another one. You have to constantly maintain these charges by using smash attacks and connecting them. And that includes anything like quirky uh, objects. Great tech back onto the stage. Smart. Still hanging in here. 139%. And so avoid, uh, based on the habits that we see from Ryan, to avoid those up throws. I like setting up for nares from those up throws. Oh, good job using the actual dash attack itself. It has such a good priority. Yeah. It beats out a lot of attacks that's in this game. Quick draw, man. It's scary. And you'll notice the way that Spark utilizes it just to move around the stage so fast. Like we saw that's right exactly there. what I'm talking about. Forward throw, and you'll use quick draw, go straight to another grab. It's super good on tech chasing. Wait for it. Good stuff with the down smash. Reading that and covered the entire platform. Doesn't matter where he teched at that point, as long as the timing was there. Incredibly well played by Ryan. And honestly, this percent difference is not a huge deal because if Rai can get the right opening, he can probably put Spark at near identical percent. Absolutely right. But it doesn't look like he's having that Spark. Once again, like you mentioned before, utilizing those options with the quick draw just to close oh. the distance and really pile on the punishment on Rai. That actually spikes too, by the way. That has a spike hitbox. That's uh, scary. As the sword is plunging downwards. It's, I think, only sword specifically towards the tip. I could be wrong. Good forward tilt. That's, that's what you can expect when people don't attack is people, you can angle the forward tilts in all three directions. Up, down, and middle. And with that three down tilt? Yes, oh that's what I wanted! My. That's exactly what I said. What oh I said. my. <laughs> oh my. That and is very specific. Barking zero. It was such a close match, but this looks like complete destruction right now. Rai just not really finding a single opening. Spark getting the down throw, chasing with that quick draw, just barely missing. Oh, good Nair setups. Multiple Nairs. That's going to be his bread and butter. He has positioning, but he's not going to be able to use it just yet. Instead, has to retreat up to the top platform, unable to really get positioning for the kill. Nice. And this is where Lucario can definitely scare people. Is in this neutral. As soon as he moves in and gets that first confirm, you could take them off the stage. Spark seems to be the one who's getting most of the confirms in this game. Gets another down throw. Oh, he's done! Runs down with that drop zone fair. Beautiful play by both <laughs> players, but Spark, oh man, turning it on in game two. Next level. Taking homie. that 2-0. I'm so glad he's back in town.